Hey guys, welcome to Fana Music. This channel focuses on music that transforms our lives, moves us. And today's reaction request comes from the Buy Me Coffee website. Dragonfly asks, please react to the awesome all-female Japanese metal band called Nemophila and their song Rise. Okay, thank you Dragonfly for your coffee. If you want to request reaction, check the link below. Let's dive straight into it. Ooh. Oh my god. Ah, reminds me of Linkin Park. Wow, that's... <laughs> What a riff. Wow. <laughs> oh, I obviously don't have the sound for that. This is just a Telecaster, so it's more bluesy guitar, but... Woo! The guitars they're using in this song, they are more similar to this. They have these two uh, humbuckers, we call them. Basically two pickups in one, and they sound thicker. And so if you add the distortion rather than overdrive to it, which is more aggressive and has a more bite to it, more mi high, mid, heavy. Uh, wow, really powerful. As I said, it reminds me of Linkin Park. It reminds me of even some Dream Theater, although Dream Theaters are much more progressive, much more uh, kind of complex in their compositions. Again, what repeats here, similarly to Bandmate, is the combination of English and Japanese. Very powerful song. I picked up some lyric about, like, what was it? You more than you think you are or something. Well, you limitless or something, right? Encouraging, self-confidence, enhancing song, it feels like to me at least. Ben May, I felt, was more rock. Was more punk and rock. This is more on the metal side of things, which I really enjoy as well. It's really refreshing. We're crossing boundaries of genres. That's what I love about music that it can express itself in so many different ways and this is another example of it it's beautiful what amazes me about them in particular that it's again japanese all-female band and she can growl so impressively the singing the growling sort of the metal aggressive singing which you do in your throat it, it doesn't sound weak it doesn't sound pretentious it's quite impressive that this sort of raw aggressive energy can come from women as well and i think uh, it's great to see that it almost feels like there was something suppressed and women in general obviously we've had patriarchy for long years and this is one of way of just kind of getting it all out and balance the energy a little bit so i absolutely love that the painting on a whiteboard is also interesting Ooh. oh my god Also, they have two guitarists who both shred. Oh. Ah. 
very poppy. Yeah. Time to live your life, you know, just, just go for it. Oh, <laughs> raise your mind. Ooh. Ooh. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Beautiful painting, by the way. I hope they used it as a uh, cover art. Ooh, wow, I can't like. The solo, what was that? Like, I can't do this, I can- ah! <laughs> Wow, as you can see, I'm not a shred player, but what I picked up there was it was some tapping to do like this. Something like that. Then there was some RPG like that. Which is the song is in B minor, so she did something. And then kind of. And then ended on this high B note. What was that? And they both play so incredibly well. I really love the vibe of this song, this encouraging raise your voice and notice when she sang the raise your voice phrase she went into that um, into that growl again and then she started singing something in Japanese. To me it feels like that's the language that's more natural for them to express in and it's like be yourself. Japanese culture as we know is can be very conformist, not just Japanese culture, in general a lot of cultures. I mean, when I was growing up in Europe, there was like 30 of us, we need to all listen to each and do the similar things. And Japanese culture is spe specifically known uh, for this to be the case. And sometimes uh, the, the girls can be put uh, in positions that it's not fully respectful of their inner life, of some kind of expression. And the punk music scene was kind of the way of expressing it in the past in the Western world. And I feel like something similar is happening now in Japan. Um, a little bit later. Maybe I'm reading it all wrong. Let me know in the comments, but that's what it feels like to me. There must be some reason why these Japanese bands are such a big hit now, apart from that it's great music and that it's that the contrast between the kind of uh, the femininity, the cuteness, the beauty and the aggressiveness of the music really works and creates some chemistry there. Thanks to Dragonfly for recommendation. Again, if you want to request your own, go to my Buy Me A Coffee website. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, share your reactions, share your thoughts, and see you in the next video. Keep it funky. Whew.